elementary school students across America and on the United States military bases around the world. Michael T. Mondak back with you on this Tuesday. If you haven't been with me the last three weeks and one day, you know I've been coming to you virtually from somewhere around the world to read one picture book to you, your parents, and your teachers. Let's give you a little teaser as to what I'll be reading today. Do any of you have a secret place you like to go to when when people don't pay, pay attention to you? Well, guess what? Shy Little Kitten had a secret place of her own. What? Shy Little Kitten's secret place? That's the title of this book with a storyline written by Jim Lawrence and illustrations by Miss Keenan Jones. If you're ready, we're going to a magical place called Little Golden Bookland filled with lots of wonderful things to see and do where every day is a special day just waiting to be discovered. This will be especially appropriate for my friends in the Southern Hemisphere where summer has just begun. It was a warm summer day in Little Golden Book Land, and a group of roly-poly kittens was romping around outside. Hey, let's play hide-and-seek, said one. Oh, yes, yes, let's, said another. What fun it was, hiding in the grass or under a bush, trying not to be seen by whoever was it. What shouting and shrieking there was when someone was discovered. Here I am, said a small, timid voice. Shy little kitten peeked out from behind a tree, smiling hopefully. But no one paid any attention. They don't even miss me, she thought sadly. Just then, Tootle rode by. Who wants to ride out to the lighthouse, he called. I do, I do, shouted the kittens all at once. Then hop on, said the puppies from next door who had already boarded the train. They were all there except Pokey Little Puppy. He was still running along behind Katie Caboose, his ears flapping wildly as he tried to catch up. He was finally able to climb aboard when Tootle stopped for the kittens, but one of them got left behind as the train started to chug again. Please, wait for me, cried Shy Little Kitten, jumping out of her hiding place. I want to come too. But no one could hear her timid little voice all over the fuss and excitement. She chased the train down toward Main Street as fast as her little legs would carry her. But by the time she got there, Tootle and Katie Caboose were almost out of sight. Now Scuffy the tugboat was sailing across the harbor. Shy Little Kitten waved one tiny paw and called to him. Can you see the train? she asked. She hoped he might somehow help her catch up with him. But Scuffy didn't answer. He didn't notice a small, bashful bundle of fur trying to get his attention. By now, the trainload of merrymakers had completely disappeared around the curving shoreline that wound its way out to Lighthouse Point. Shy Lil' Kitten felt so lonely. She trudged up the mountain farther than she had ever gone alone. She saw a saggy baggy elephant galumping around on his hind legs, squirting coconut juice at his pal tawny scrawny lion. She wished she could join in the fun, but she didn't want to get in the way. Still farther up the mountain, baby brown bear was bouncing a ball back and forth with his father, big brown bear. Every so often, they would stop to scoop honey from a nearby hollow tree. Shy Little Kitten gave a timid cough. <coughs> could I play too, she asked. I could roll the ball with my nose. And I, er, I love honey. Baby Brown Bear saw her and waved a sticky paw. But Shy Little Kitten could tell he hadn't really heard her. He was too busy having fun. It's my own fault, she said wistfully. 
If only I were bold enough to speak up and make people pay more attention. I bet I'd have lots more fun. Shy little kitten wandered on. Wasn't fun exploring all by herself, but she hadn't anything better to do. Suddenly, she saw a big opening in a nearby slope. Hmm, looks like a cave, she thought. I wonder who lives here. She peered in timidly. Anybody home? She called. Nobody was, but her own voice boomed back louder than she had ever heard it before. Anybody home? Anybody home? Shy little king grinned happily. She decided to venture farther in. She saw the most wonderful bumpy walls and rocks of all shapes and sizes. With one small paw, she slowly pushed a pebble. Then she pushed it again and again. Before she knew it, shy little kitten was having the time of her life. Now this is fun. This is fun, she shouted, and her now bold voice echoed throughout the cave. I'm not shy in here, she thought, and I like it. Now one day, shy little kitten was in her secret cave, jumping from boulder to boulder, when she remembered that the little golden bookland egg hunt was taking place that day. She did a quick somersault and a triple flip-flop to the ground and was about to join the others in the hunt. But she was having such a good time, she decided to stay and play a while longer. In the meantime, everyone else had already begun their search for eggs. Pokey little puppy was lagging behind as usual. He kept looking all around and sniffling here and there for eggs. Where's shy little kitten, he wondered out loud. The only answers he got were shrubs. No one had seen her all morning, and no one seemed to be having much luck finding eggs either. Hey, there's a good place to look, saggy baggy elephant holler, hopefully. It's a cave. Strange sounds could be heard as they got closer to the cave. Startled, the group stopped and clasped pans before continuing on. They slowly walked inside, but they stopped suddenly. They saw Shy Little Kitten, or at least someone who looked like Shy Little Kitten, <laughs> but she clearly wasn't acting shy anymore. Hi, gang, she yelled, and between all the other noises she was making, shy little kitten was screeching and meowing and caterwauling at the top of her tiny lungs. And shy little kitten wasn't only making a lot of noise, she was climbing the bumpy walls, then running around the cave like crazy, jumping here and there and everywhere. Then she was batting pebbles across the floor of the cave like a hockey player on ice. Well, what are you all staring at? asked Shy Little Kitten when she had worn herself out for the moment. Had you, they all guessed. What's gotten into you? asked Pokey Little Puppy. Nothing's gotten into me, she said gaily. It's just the real me coming out. Took a lot of practice in my secret cave. First, I had to get used to my voice being very loud. The echo in here really helped. Now, I just love to yell and yell at the top of my lungs. Then I started to explore. At first, I only climbed the little ledges, but soon I made my way to the top of all the big boulders and could even hang upside down. Now, I know how to have fun like everyone else. Speaking of fun, Shy Little Kitten added, isn't the egg hunt still going on? When everyone nodded, still not quite over the change in their little friend, Shy Little Kitten said, Well then, let's go, gang. Bursting out of the cave, she led the other egg hunters all over the mountain. And guess who found the most eggs? That, my friends, is Shy Little Kitten's secret place. Join me again on Wednesday, same time, same channel.